While the Tea Party movement didn't really affect the primary elections here in Oklahoma, it is creating quite a controversy across the country. Tea Party members are winning over longtime GOP members, and those upsets could wind up affecting us after all. News 9 political correspondent Samantha Hayes joins us now live from Washington to explain. Yeah, hi, Amy. That's why the Republican primary in Delaware uh, was so significant last night. Here's the thing. Uh, Republicans could take control of the Senate if their nominee in Delaware for the, uh, for the Senate, Christine O'Donnell, can beat the Democrat in November. But here's the catch. The Republicans, uh, many establishment Republicans anyway, they don't like O'Donnell. In fact, they don't even think that she can win. Uh, they preferred her opponent, uh, moderate Congressman Mike Castle, uh, but he lost. And now Republicans are facing a problem. Uh, they're concerned that O'Donnell can't win. Nevertheless, uh, today, the Republican National Chairman Michael Steele basically told them to knock it off and get behind O'Donnell, whether they like her or not. That's my message. Stop it. Let's get behind our nominees and win the election. Then we can have a meeting and sit down and talk about all that stuff. So O'Donnell will face Democrat Chris Coons uh, in November, and uh, after she was declared the winner Tuesday, he uh, received up to about $50,000 in campaign donations. Democrats are very excited about that. He was considered a long shot before O'Donnell won. Now Democrats feel that they're going to be able to hold on to their Senate seat that used to be occupied by now Vice President Joe Biden. Amy, back to you. All right, Samantha Hayes reporting. Thanks so much.